Okay, hey, what's up? I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to uh, use Koala Sampler in split screen mode to uh, increase your workflow here. And um, the inspiration for this was uh, Michael from Gas Therapy just posted a video uh, basically saying how he replaced his Novation circuit with three apps, uh, one of them being Koala Sampler. Groovebox and uh, audio share um, so he used split screen with Groovebox and um, koala sampler and ran the audio through audio share and I've been doing something very similar uh, except I've been using audio bus and that really opens up every app that I have on on the iPad but without any further ado let's get to the first method and this one is just using audio share with Koala Sampler. So let's talk about how to get into split screen in the first place here. So what you're going to need to do is drag Koala Sampler onto your dock over here, right? And you would just do that by simply holding something and then dragging it down into the dock, right? But you, 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 don't, you don't need to do that here. So, because I already have it on the dock. So, uh, first things first, let's open up Audio Share, and then let's drag on Koala Sampler, and you're going to get split screen when that window moves, and boom, now you're in split screen. So why would you want to do split screen with uh, Audio Share and with Koala Sampler? Because you can already import files from uh, Audio Share into Koala. Well, what happens when you go to import a file? Uh, with Koala Sampler, um, it immediately runs it as an app. So AudioShare will take over the window, and you don't have access to pressing any of the pads and, and resampling, right? So you do it in split screen, and you gain so many benefits by working with this particular method. So let me show you how to set this up. So now that we're in split screen mode, we hit record. And we're going to want to change the input to file player. And then on the effects slot, we're going to go and choose Koala Sampler. Now immediately, Koala Sampler changed from mic to inter-app audio. That's awesome. So now we're going to hit uh, monitor. We're going to put the monitor on. And so now any file that we have in Koala Sampler, I mean, uh, in, in audio share, can be recorded into Koala Sampler by simply pressing one of the pads. But, well, here, let me just show you. So, uh, here we go, Beretta's theme. Boom, 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 okay? So. So let's stop this and. Right? So there's that method of recording. But what if you already have a, a loop? What if you already have something that's this predetermined and is an awesome loop like this? So this is all ready to go. I don't need to do any editing in Koala Sampler. So how would I get this into Koala Sampler without having to edit within Koala Sampler? Well you would usually drag or import a file from uh, AudioShare via Koala Sampler's menu. And that's exactly what you're going to do here. Except when you do that, AudioShare is already open, so it's not going to take over the screen. So let me just show you how that works. So we're going to go into this menu over here, import audio. And now immediately it says import into app. Boom. So now we have a good loop going on. Let's find some drums. I think this one's already in time with it. So, And remember, we're still uh, listening to the audio from here. So I can just start this any time. Right? So let's import this now. Import audio. Import.
And so now we have both of these pre-made loops in Koala Sampler. Sounds great. So, what if I want to get individual drum sounds? Well, we could do that. And if you have individual drum sounds in, in AudioShare, uh, you can import them very easily. But let's go with uh, method number two. And so let's just get rid of that. Let's just get rid of both of these. Method number two is using documents so you can monitor sounds as loops are playing in Koala Sampler. So here, let me show you how that works. Open up documents. Uh, so any of your files you can listen to well, if you just press, right? You just press on the file and it'll just run through all the files. So let's bring Koala Sampler into the mix. Once again, we're in split screen. Boom, boom, boom. Um, yeah. So now we have both of these playing. Let's do this again. Oops. Cool. Let's listen for some bass drum sounds. I like that one. So now we can just drag that over here. Oops, let's just, there you go. So, right? Let's, uh, let's get some snare sounds. So let's go over here. Let's go to the MPC 2000 folder. We'll just go, oops, ah. drag and drop these files. That's what I really like about this method of using it. Um, and so, let's see here. Uh, let's go over here and let's get some hi-hat sounds. I don't know which ones sound good, so let's just listen to them. sounded really good. Um, all right, so. Ah, shit. There you go, three. I'm just going to drag that in here. And Anyways, you get the, you get the point. <laughs> um, I can just continue to do that all, all day. Uh, so yeah, that's how you use uh, documents and Koala Sampler together so you can sort of monitor the sounds as your loops are playing and sort of drag and drop as needed. And uh, this is really effective. I mean, so we've already have enough to create kind of a, 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 a easy loop, right? Um, so let's go to method number three. This is uh, by far the, the uh, most effective and advanced method <laughs> Uh, and this is basically this is basically using uh, AudioBus three and Koala Sampler together in split uh, split screen mode. And so now with AudioBus three, um, you're able to access every synth app and every drum machine app in your iPad. This is awesome, by the way. This is awesome. So here, let me just show you. Uh, so here we have audio bus three. Let's drag Koala in. Boom. All right. So now, whatever input we, we choose, we can put the effect as Koala Sampler. And uh, yeah, so Koala Sampler. Once again, it changes to inner app audio. Cool. Let's turn on the monitor. So now, what do we want to play with? Uh, what does this need? Uh, um, hmm, 
Let's see here. I kind of want some keys. All right, so let me stop these. All right, so if you load an app into the input of AudioBus, what's going to happen is it's going to launch the app and it's going to take over the whole screen. That's kind of a bummer, but certain apps are kind of worth dealing with that because okay, you can get like Core Gadget and have access to the 20,000 the gadgets that they have in Core Gadget. Sequence that and then go back into audio bus in, in the split screen mode and then sort of sample loops on the fly, right? Because you can sequence within Core Gadget. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but if you go into audio units as your input and you load in something, uh, I said I wanted some keys, right? I probably, I probably want some keys. Um, so, yeah, let's go with Sunriser. Um, if you load Sunriser as an inner audio... Uh, no, I'm sorry. As an AUV3, if you load it, uh, audio units and you click on this, now you have access to all the controls. So, so you have access to all of these. Now, now we can uh, eject that. <laughs> eject <laughs> like it's a VCR or something. Anyways, uh, get rid of that that uh, audio unit and uh, and turn a new one. So let's let's get a uh, let's get a funky bass line. <laughs> let's let's go to Poison 202. Awesome, awesome synth. I mean, all of these synths are pretty awesome. But um, all right, so not analog lead. Let's go to Let's short sure, disco bass. So yeah, already we, we've we've used uh, you know we, we have pretty much the, all the instruments we need to sort of make a song right. Um, so yeah, I mean, just these three methods of using split screen in, in Koala Sampler is just you have sort of endless uh, opportunities to, to 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 fill the palette. Uh, and I, I, that's what I call these these pads here. But I just they're, to me it's like a, a painter's palette. And um, you just have to fill it with cool sounds, <laughs> and then 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 you can go into the fun part of of sequencing everything. But you, you got to have a good palette first. And so, using AudioBus in this way, 
you have access to all the synths that are, you know, audio units. And even if you're willing to deal with uh, the, the wackiness of, of the apps that are not, um, that'll take over your screen and you have to sort of bounce back between apps. Uh, even if you're willing to deal with that, the, the whole world of your iPad uh, apps have opened up so you can just simply load up these pads with cool sounds and fill out your palette. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it for the tutorial. I hope this helped somebody. Um, you know, uh, oh, oh, another thing uh, that you can do. Um, oh, boy. Eh, okay, hold on. Eh, let's, let's go retro piano. Okay, doesn't matter because what I'm going to be doing is uh, let's add an input. Let's go into system. So now, uh, anyways, if you had a microphone, and I don't have a microphone plugged in, but you can plug in external. So, oh, there it is, iPad microphone. So then you can just uh, run something in from the outside world uh, into your iPad uh, and just re simply record it through here. Um, yeah, so not only do you have access to all of your uh, synth apps and all your drum machine apps, um, you now have access to the outside world. So really, Audio Bus 3 and Koala Sampler in split screen mode is just a monster. It's incredible what you can do with these two apps running side by side. And Koala Sampler, what a scrappy, awesome app for a $4 app. You're able to create, I mean, I mean I've mean, i already heard a couple of beat tapes, uh, just full albums of people making stuff on Koala Sampler. So this is it. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace.